Dendrochronology is one of the few ways by which we can get a glimpse into the past because we know very little of what climate was before we use modern scientific instruments. But fortunately, trees have been recording the environment and climate around them in their annual growth rings. So the trees are validating the fact that it's warming. Much of the eastern US was deforested in the 1800s and early 1900s to build cities like New York. So there's all of this old growth timber that can tell us about the past. And many of these historic buildings are now being demolished as the city is building these large towers or condos. We are excited about the idea of being able to save pieces of wood from demolition sites so we can learn about the climate and ecology of the past, but also the history of the lumber industry. This is a corner building on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, 83rd and 2nd Avenue and it's pretty typical of the type of buildings. They knock down, they'll take out a corner and put up a high rise. Uh, but they all have one thing in common, they're all framed with old growth heartwoods from forests. That's one of the things we're looking to discover here is how the tree rings lead back to where they originally grew. Who's the scientist here? Which is the scientist? These guys here. Yeah. Do you guys know the difference between fir, yellow pines? This is a test. Oh, it's a test? Oh! <laughs> you thought school was high. A couple of years ago, we were involved in this project of the renovation of the terminal warehouse in the Chelsea Historic District of Manhattan. And there we got really interested in using demolition buildings as a way to understand the past. We are looking for a lot of rings, which is great for us, so we can understand how it grew, the tree, and when it was cut, and where it came from. Which would mean that we have a lot of years to understand the past climate. We were working uh, on the Terminal Warehouse project and what we discovered when looking at the tree rings of longleaf pine from these joists was that the timber was taken from the Georgia, Alabama region to build this very important landmark in New York City. And so working with my colleagues, it's really exciting to think about continuing this research, especially in New York City, where there's a wealth of material in buildings that are being demolished every day. This also is an incredible opportunity for us to extend our climate records, because now if we're sampling, say, from a building that was built in 1834, like to 11 Pearl Street that was converted to a tower, this particular building was built from white pine in the Adirondacks and right now if we were to go to the Adirondacks, maybe we would be lucky to find a tree that's 200 years old that goes back to the early 1800s and using this building that was built in the 1800s, we can extend our record back to the 1500s, the 1400s in a way that cannot be done with living trees right now.